Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly how-to video. My name is Lori McNorton, floral design for Florist Review and Super Floral and we have been doing fall for the last few weeks and so I thought how fun would it be? We're still in fall and Halloween is coming up so I thought a little Halloween centerpiece would be appropriate for this time of year. So um, I wanted something kind of fun, whimsical, so I ran over to our local Dollar Tree and I found these cool plastic skulls. Not much to them. Some spiders and then we're going to kind of include some flowers and make this kind of a cool spooky centerpiece. So first of all these are just hollow plastic skulls so I kind of cut this out ahead of time just to kind of give it's very easy. Just took my knife make sure you don't cut yourself. Just cut a hole in these. Got this one ready to go. But I just took a piece of scrap floral foam and these do have holes in them. I checked them. So I was like, well, we need a little liner. Let's take this off. <laughs> so I took just a little piece of plastic, a rubber band, and put around our oasis to fit down in here. And then we're just going to hide our liner. That way we can still have a water source, but we're not going to have water leaking all over. So, all right, there we have that. Next, whoa, dude. Okay. Um, I was just going to do kind of reds and whites, um, keep it very simple. So I found these beautiful the red bubble spray roses, and I've got some white mums. And then I have this coxcomb, which I thought would be appropriate for to kind of remind you of a brain. So this was kind of that magenta. So I took a little bit of radish uber matte paint and hit it with it. So it's got a little bit more red to it. And we're going to include a little bit of this as well. We're going to make a mess. going to add a little bit of the coxcomb to each one. And then we'll use this kind of in our display once we get it get it made. This isn't going to take a lot of flowers. It's going to be more in how we display it than anything. I want to save one of these off to the side here, one of the open. This is going to be perfect for that Halloween party. You know, it's the adult Halloween parties are huge now, and this would be really cool just to have sit around. This one done. I'm saving a couple of these open ones for later. Whoops, well, we'll save that one now that I broke it off. Some of these 
spray roses are beautiful. They're open. try and make a couple of these look like they're draping down. <laughs> space there. How fun. Okay, now watch it not stay up. Okay. One more in the front here. Okay, so we have our skulls done. Okay, so then I have a couple spiders. And I thought, oh, let's just dress those up a little bit. So that's why I wanted the little mum. I'm just going to take a pin, go right through the center. Dress them up a little bit. This is their costume. bit of gauze here. Set this up. Put our tray in. Have an old wooden spool. This is from, I love to keep these. This is from Oasis, Smithers Oasis off the raw muslin. And we'll put the spider. Looks like it's crawling up. Got some ribbon. Let me just make a couple little loops here. This ribbon is kind of a sheer gauze, perfect color. Woo! Where are you going? Skipping out on the party. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, another spider here. Wanted to add coxcomb. People are really intrigued by this, and they do think that this looks like brain or something, so that's kind of cool. website go to the website and sign up for our newsletter and be sure to subscribe to florist review to stay up to date for all the best of floral designs be sure to do that uh, thank you for tuning in and have a great day bye